My no makeup makeup routine is locked down, so I'm gonna show you guys what exactly I use. I'm using the Skin 1004 <laughs> sunscreen. I don't know why it's so dirty, but I'm almost out of this and I love it. It's like skincare, but better. I mean, it's like sunscreen that feels like skincare. Like, I don't even feel like I have anything on my face. It feels like a really good moisturizer. And this is my ultimate combo, the Say Super Glow Gel in Star Glow. I do like a pump of this and this BB cream. I've been loving this BB cream. It's the Glow Acne BB cream and I'll mix it together for this. Okay, I think that's like, this is actually a lot. Like I don't even use half of this. I should have pumped like half a pump, but this combo, it gives me the best, most natural glow. I feel like that's all I really need too. And somehow this BB cream, it's really lightweight. But it gives me the perfect amount of coverage for like a no makeup makeup look. And I actually like to use my fingers for this BB cream and sun glow mix. Look at how glowy and perfect my skin looks. If I need a little extra coverage, especially around my nose area and this pimple, I like to use this House Labs concealer. It makes me feel like I have nothing on my skin. And then look at that. It looks like I have nothing on my skin, but I do. <laughs> and then of course for my brows, you guys know I always use the Kosas brow pencil and I just fill in my brows as like naturally as possible. I just have a little bit of like sparse areas here because I overpluck my eyebrows because I hate my eyebrows for some reason. I have like a, such a big love-hate relationship with my eyebrows. Like I never like the way they look and I should probably start shaving them more because I am always overplucking and over tweezing. For blush, I have been really loving this Pat McGrath one and this new sticks one that has this inner glow thing in it. So the Pat McGrath one is really sheer and it's almost kind of like a bomb like that. And I'll show you the nude sticks one. This is a lot more pigmented, but I like this glowy like core that it has in the middle. Do you see it kind of like, it is really pigmented. So I kind of just do like a tiny swab of it. You guys know me, the bigger the brush, the denser the brush, it's like right on my alley. I need something like as big as possible because I feel like my cheekbones are kind of big. So I like to just use like a giant brush to just help me blend it out. Like, like a bubble brush. This is like, this kind of like bubble brush is like my signature go and the denser the better because I feel like all the bristles really just help get in there and help my blush. I feel like this looks so good. I really like these shades. This is the shade Paradise Peony and Peach Pearl. And for eye makeup, I always like to keep it really easy. I just use the same brow pencil and I'll just draw and extend this outer corner line and just give myself a wing using a really natural like brown shade because I feel like this gives the most like elegant natural simple look and like it doesn't overpower the entire look and then i'll just curl my eyelashes with the shiseido eyelash curler and i love the way that this fits into my eyes my sister recently just got this because of me and she has just been telling me how much of like a game changer it has to use like a brown mascara this is the bubble and rudy one because brown mascara it looks so natural on my eyelash because my hair is kind of like a little bit on the browner side so it gives, matches my hair really well without making it too strikingly dark with just like a simple black mascara and i used to never do my bottom eyelashes but i feel like this really helps make my eyes look bigger and pop so i've been incorporating that too but for me specifically i always need like some kind of egg side pencil to kind of like emphasize this that i have and again Egg style is not eye bags. I know a lot of people who watch videos for like egg style tutorials, all the comments I always see is like, why would you want to enhance your eye bags? Your eye bag is like down here and it makes it look really saggy and saggy. But if you just do like this eye puff area, super cute. That's like kind of like why it's like egg style. Egg means like cute. And like a lot of babies have it. So it makes you look really youthful. People actually get surgery to do like that. So last but not least, my lip routine. So then I use this like really natural lip liner and I'll just go ahead and emphasize my Kifitzville and I'll do it really messily because what I like to do is I just blend this out and make it as blurred as, oops, I make it as blurred as possible to make it just look like my lip got a little bit bigger. Kind of giving like a nice shadow without overlining my lips and making it, having like a really harsh line. And then to top it all off, I like to use a lip oil. This is the Summer Fridays lip oil, and I really like it. This is in the shade Pink Cloud. And that's it. And that is my hand routine. That's what I do every day, and I feel like this is like my signature look. I really start to embrace a more natural look. Actually, one last step, as I always put glitter on my eyes. I feel like I don't look complete, and I know this is not the most natural, so you can always omit this, but I feel like I look put together with like a little bit of shimmery glitter on top. And that's it. That's all I have. A no makeup makeup that enhances your natural features. That is exactly what I am here for.